Welcome back to Lake Texoma and the 2017 Texas Collegiate Challenge presented by Abu Garcia. With time running out, we'll get right back into tournament coverage with Stephen F. Austin's Jackson Case and Tyler Woods. After a slow start, they're closing in on a limit. Hey, that's five right there. Hey, baby. Good one. Hell yeah. I took way too long, didn't it? The chunky, chunky one. <laughs> Heck yeah, just right beside that dock, huh? Yeah. Ah. Well, we've had a pretty decent day. We're just gonna go around these boat docks, fish one more little spot, then head in the way and see what happens. Hopefully we can call out one of our small ones. We got what, about 30 minutes left? 25. 25 minutes. While Jackson and Tyler make one last move, we'll check in on Austin Chapman and J.T. Russell fishing for McKendree University, ranked eighth in the Cabela's School of the Year standings. All right, if you would tell me your name and uh, school and what year you are. I'm J.T. Russell net, from- Net, net, There we go. That'll help a little bit. You're gonna have to do some calling now. Uh, yeah. All right, green is bigger than red. And then that one in there didn't have a tag and it was bigger than red. Yeah. And those are both bigger than red. I don't know, JT, what do you think we got? Probably, probably around 15. 15. We probably got close to 15 pounds. Just five twins, you know? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> It's unbelievable how many fish, I mean, they're all so close to each other in size. But uh, I think we'll do well. It, it won't be enough to win, but I think it'll get us a top 10. Heading back to Denison, Texas for weigh-in. It was a tough day for these collegiate anglers. Less than half the field managed to bring a limit to the scales. It was tough. It was a grinder for sure. We uh, started out this morning and we had practiced for about two hours yesterday. And we got out there this morning and it wasn't happening. When they say don't go out on that big lake, don't go out on that big lake. It was bad. It was whooping out there. We definitely had to mix up the game plan, especially in pre-fishing. We had to change direction, change where we were going and try out new things. And uh, it paid off for us. So, uh, we'll see what happens. Checking in on our feature teams, Stephen F. Austin's Tyler Woods and Jackson K. sacked up five for 12.65 and a 15th place finish. The University of North Alabama needed a strong showing to stay in the hunt for school of the year. Nathan Martin and Austin Mize managed four keepers for 9.14 and 25th place, but their teammates Bridger Thomas and Sloan Pennington brought five to the scales for 13.67, putting them in the top 10. McKendree University's Austin Chapman and JT Russell caught a nice limit that pushed the scales to 1535, giving them a fifth place finish. Looking for points in the school of the year, Connor Fogg and Matt Brown struggled today, catching just one keeper and finishing out the day in 40th. But Nathan Bell and Cole Sands came through, weighing a limit for 16 pounds, giving Bryan College a third place finish. Great job. Cole Smith and Houston Smith made a strong run at it today. We've had 16.09 is leading it right now, but not for long. Here's your new leaders, 19.60. 19.60, good for a second place finish against some strong competition. Pretty much lucked into the fish. I mean, it was, we had a rough practice and just came out and put our heads down and got after it and found them and worked out good for us. At the end of the day, it was Zachary Hines and Trent Newman climbing right. to the top of the leaderboard with the he biggest sack of the day. Bag. Did he catch them all? No, we, we split them today, but he can carry it all for me. That's fine. How about a new leader? 1975. 1975. Y'all get them out and hold them up. That is an awesome bag of fish on a tough, windy day. Well, it was tough this morning. I mean, we didn't have it. We had one fish at 11 o'clock. We had some smallmouth found that we thought we were going to catch, but. They didn't work out. I think that storm coming through last night and this wind kind of messed those smallmouth up. And plus the wind was blowing into that bank yesterday. So we packed up. We had an area where we knew big fish were. I just didn't know how many were there. 
And right when we got there, I mean, he catches the first one, then I, then I catch a good one, and he catches a few more big ones. So, I mean, it, it was we were definitely blessed today to have what we had, um, just a school of fish under a set of dogs. And there you have it. Dallas Baptist University gets the win by the slimmest of margins. Here's a look at the rest of the top 10 on the Abu Garcia leaderboard. And checking in on the Cabela School of the Year standings. At the end of this event, Bryan College maintains their lead over the defending champions from the University of North Alabama. We've had an unbelievable year this year. I think our, our lowest finish in any tournament has been a 13th place. And uh, so we've been extremely blessed and we just worked so hard. Our whole team, we put our heads together and just really worked as a team, shared information uh, after practice and whatnot. And, you know, it would be huge. That, that's our number one goal this year. A big thanks to the folks from Denison, Texas for the help and hospitality this week. We are the first city in Texas as you cross over the Red River into Texas. We are known as the Gateway City of Texas. And our motto here is moving forward, kicking back. And I like to think that we certainly know how to do that. This is a perfect example of how we like to kick back in Denison and have fun. If you're headed to the Texoma region, please check out DenisonTexas.us.